Today we are learning how to prime factor numbers using exponents. Remember that when we prime factor numbers, like 48, we split it up until there's nothing but prime factors. So 48 could be split up into 6 times 8. And then the 6 could be split up into 2 times 3. These are both prime numbers. The 8 could be split up into 2 times 4. And while 2 is a prime number, 4 can be split up into 2 times 2. And because both of those 2s are prime numbers, we can stop here. So 48 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. But this is a messy way of writing this. Notice how we are repeatedly multiplying 2. And remember that repeated multiplication can be shown with exponents. So another way of writing this is that 48 is equal to these 2s being multiplied together once, twice, three times, four times. So we write it as 2 to the power of 4. And then we finish this with a times 3. This is another way of writing the prime factors of 48. Let's do one of these together. Let's start by prime factoring 36, which we can split up into 6 times what? We can split it up into 6 times 6. Are either of these prime numbers? No, both of them can be split up further. This 6 we can split into 2 times 3, now those are prime, and the other 6 gets split into 2 times 3, so both of those are prime. So how can we write out the prime factors of 36? We write that 36 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. We've organized the prime factors from smallest to biggest. Now we want to rewrite them using exponents though. So we'll write that 36 is equal to, and then we want to write down these two 2's. How can we write those? Well, 2 is being multiplied, and it's being multiplied once, twice. So it's 2 to the power of 2. Then we have to multiply this by the two 3's. How can we write those using exponents? Well, 3 is being multiplied, and it's being multiplied once, twice. So it's 3 to the power of 2. This is the other way to write the prime factors of 36. Now it's time for you to try on your own. Write out the prime factors of 50 using exponents. Well, you have to start by prime factoring 50. You could split it up into 5 times 10. Then 5 is a prime number, but 10 gets split up into 2 times 5. Now both of those are prime. So you can write that 50 is equal to 2 times 5 times 5. And then using exponents, we'll write that 50 is equal to 2 times both of these 5s. So 5 is being multiplied once, twice. So 5 to the power of 2. This is how you can write 50's prime factors using exponents. Here's your last one for today. Write the prime factors of 80 using exponents. Well, you can start by splitting 80 up, maybe into 8 times 10. Then 8 can be split up into 2 times 4. 2 is prime, but 4 can be split up into 2 times 2. Those are both prime. 10 can be split up into 2 times 5. Both of those are prime. So we can write 80 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Using exponents, we write that 80 is equal to these 2's. Well, 2 is being multiplied by itself once, twice, three times, four times. So 2 to the power of 4. Then this is multiplied by the 5. Here's how you could write 80's prime factors using exponents. So from today, remember, you should factor numbers until you have only primes. And then you should write repeated multiplication using exponents.